All right, right here in Roswell. <laughs> You're good for another episode of Perfect Atlanta. Um, this Hardee's has been closed for quite a while. And my friend Sheet is out here with me. Thank you so much for the ride. Permanently closed. Appreciate many years of patronage. Huh? Looks like they still have some of the bare metal stuff in here. But, yeah, out in Roswell. Just doing some shenanigans. And still got the lights on. Lockbox to get in. And this looks like a really old store. I'm gonna check over by the garbage can, see if there's anything interesting. Looks like there is. You can probably hear in the background me using my cane. Yes, well, kinda need to. Oh, a couple things. Stanchion. Old mop bucket full of uh, God knows what. That thing sounds hideous. Weird looking truck too. But dumpster's gone. Doubt be able to. Yeah, I can smell the grease. And there's the old uh, pump uh, outlet for it. Uh, it used to say something. No admittance or something or other. If you've gotten this far. Have you ever eaten at Hardee's? Or how about Carl Jr.'s? If you have, tell me what your favorite thing is. Some old tagging. Light is still on up there. Or maybe just reflection. I don't know. Let me see if I can get a good That's obviously. It is Shibriango Burr. Please do not print delivery orders from here. Seems like a good idea. So, yeah, this closed up a couple months ago. So, the stuff's still left inside. Those chairs are probably from either the 90s or 80s. The very first video that I covered for Urbex Atlanta was a Hardee's and I actually had some of those chairs for a while. So, I'll be back with some more adventures and if you haven't already, give this a like and subscribe. I do really appreciate all the love and support y'all give me. I'll see you next time.